my name's Nathan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your total station to your XR10 with HoloLens 2 device in Fieldlink MR. To begin, you'll notice there's two main ways to connect to an instrument, either via radio or via Wi-Fi. If you're connecting via Wi-Fi to an RPT600, that connection will happen right in the app. If you're connecting to an RTS, you're going to require an external radio bridge, such as the TDL 2.4 or EM120. To pair these radio bridges to your device, we'll need to do that via the main Microsoft menu. Once we open the settings panel, we can jump into devices and select add Bluetooth or other device. At this point, it's going to be really important to make sure that our radio bridge is turned on and in pairing mode. To do so, take a look at the top of your device with the TDL, press and hold the pairing button until the lights flash orange and blue. If you're using an EM120, press and hold the pairing button on the side of the device. Now, select Bluetooth in order to see a list of all the available devices. For the TDL, you'll see something like RB and a series of numbers, but for the EM120, you'll see EDB and a series of numbers. We'll know that we're connected once the flashing lights stop flashing. Once we're paired, we can jump back into the FieldLink MR application. The first thing that we'll see once we pick our files is a prompt to connect to our device. This will bring up the device manager, where we can select to connect to an RTS or to an RPT. In this example, we'll go into an RTS. Here, we can update our unique channel ID and network ID, just as we're used to on the tablet. To update the channel ID, press the entry field and update using the keyboard. Repeat the same process for your network ID and you'll be good to go. Once we've entered our unique fields, press the connect button to connect to the device. If we wanted to connect to an RPT instead of an RTS, simply select the RPT icon and now we'll see a list of all the Wi-Fi connections possible. In this case, I've got my RPT ready to go, so I'll select it by air tapping and press connect. Once we're connected to our instrument, we'll be brought to the tabletop menu, where we can see all of our control points for station setup and model alignment. The most important things that we're going to want to do first are go into our settings and make sure we have the right units and the right prism height. If we jump into the total station settings, we'll be brought to the device manager window again, but this time we can hit the settings cogwheel in the upper right. Now we can change information like our measurement mode from high precision to fast precision, and we can also turn on the green laser mode with supported devices. To update the prism settings, we'll open the settings button and jump into prism settings. Here, we can change what type of prism we're using, as well as the units, meters, feet, and subsections of feet. If we picked a different uh, prism, like the MT1000, for example, we can also update the RMT ID for connection. In FieldLink MR, it's really important to make sure we have the right rod height so that the verticality of our model and our layout is accurate. Once we're done, make sure we hit the done button. The next most important thing is locking onto our target. To do so, open the joystick tool where we can then use the different directional arrows and speed options to aim the total station. Here, we'll see exactly what the total station is seeing through the vision window. To move the instrument, use the directional arrows up, down, left, or right. We can do that by air tapping, head gazing, or selecting. Once we move the total station over, we can see the prism within our window, where we can use tap to turn by air tapping, or using head gaze and saying select. Once locked on, hit the search button, and we'll lock onto our target. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.